Welcome to the start of Megan's board. What do you do when you get contacted by the wife of one of your former Little League baseball players from years ago? <laughs> and he didn't do what he was supposed to do and they're in a bind and they need a cutting board in a hurry. Well, when Megan reaches out to you asking for help, you help Megan, which is gonna help Chris too. <laughs> Hang on, we'll be right back. Well, all right, what happened was uh, Chris was supposed to get a wedding gift on order and the wedding is this weekend coming up, a week from I'm not sure what day it is, but they need it by Friday. But uh, <laughs> anyway, his wife Megan reached out to me and wanted to know if if I could help. I guess get get Chris out of trouble. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I take care of it. I said if I can get the wood. So I had to go pick up some more maple. I thought I was out of cherry, but I found some cherry that I had a forgot I had, and. Um, but I didn't have enough maple, so I went to my maple supplier today and they had some. So I got what I needed to do the job. So um, I didn't film cutting the boards down to size and all. I mean, y'all seen seen that before, so there's no sense in repeating uh, cutting boards. So um, there's uh, other links, other videos on my channel. In fact, I just did one not too long ago uh, that you can refer back to if you want to see exactly how I go about cutting these all up. <clears throat> but now what I've got these laid out, and this is going to be uh, about a 12 by 18 cutting board when it's all finished. Um, it's going to be cherry and maple, which happen to be my two favorite cutting board materials that I like to work with. But um, We're going to uh, also do some laser, laser engraving on the bottom side and so that's another little uh, treat we're gonna uh, be working on so um, hang on we're gonna go ahead and continue with this glue up and I'm gonna speed things up for y'all so y'all don't get bored watching me spread glue because watching glue get spread out is about as much fun as watching paint dry I know <laughs> so uh, hang on we'll be right back and we'll speed things up for you Little boards are called calls, C A U L 
like this, and their sole purpose is to clamp the board flat, squeeze it in. What you don't see on those calls is uh, I have them covered with uh, packing tape and that keeps the boards from sticking to the glue. Uh, it makes it easier to uh, clean up everything. So, got those done. Alright, so you want to clamp it all back in there. Alright, so. Clean all that over, squeeze out of that glue. We'll clean that up. It just makes it a whole lot easier when it comes time to finishing the board when I don't have a whole lot of that glue to pick up. So um, don't worry about the glue turning loose. This is waterproof glue, and the manufacturer recommends using wet rags soaked in water to clean up the squeeze out so it's not going to hurt anything and I do this on all of my boards so let me get another rag that one's already full Those of you who don't follow me, what's going to happen is uh, after I get all the clamps, because I've got more clamps to put on this board yet, um, but after I get all the clamps on and everything's down and the glue's wiped up, um, I'm going to let this thing sit overnight. So that means tomorrow I'll come back out and I'll remove the clamps and then we'll pick up with the manufacturing of the board for Megan. And, uh, get Chris out of trouble. <laughs> so, I'm just glad that uh, my supplier had some maple in stock that I could get today. And, uh, and I'm glad I had the cherry. I, I thought I was out of cherry, but I came out here to look and I thought I had maple and it was just the opposite. I was out of the maple and had the cherry. So anyway, we got it all put together. I'm gonna make a nice little board out of this one for them. So, all right, let me uh, wipe down on the end pieces. When you want to see squeeze out like this, you want to see that glue come out. That just reinforces the fact that you've got a good amount of glue, uh, and you're gonna have a good tight glued up board. So, uh, I like to see the squeeze out. So, it does not bother me to have to clean up. Clean up back here too, so you can see we got a lot of squeeze out back here as well. That's okay. Like I said, I'd rather wipe it up now than have to chip it off later. But I like the squeeze out. I love the squeeze out. That means it's all good. See if we can get a little bit more out of this rag. There we go. Think about it, when you're working with glue and wood, you gotta not mind getting dirty. <laughs> Alright, back to wiping up a little excess again. Tighten everything back down, make sure it's all good and tight, and then we'll set this to the side. So, <clears throat> now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put two clamps coming from uh, the opposite direction from underneath the board. I mean, it should be on top of the board. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna 
counterbalance the forces and uh, help keep it everything balanced out so we have a good even squeeze out of them all the way so all right so get this squeeze out there a little more right there right there make sure those are good okay that is it we have got the board under clamps under glue and like I said we're gonna let this sit for 24 hours so that means uh, tomorrow I will come out and I will pull this all out and uh, we'll pick back up where we're left off at so uh, this is gonna be a wrap for video number one of Megan's board short quick and like I said if y'all want to see uh, how I actually cut down the boards and and get them prepped and all you can you can go over to uh, my YouTube channel and there's a couple of different cutting board videos on there um, so I thought I'd just pick up where we just go to glue it up so thanks a bunch I'll see y'all tomorrow on video number two of Megan's board <laughs>